Hi everyone, this is Dawn from Dawn of the DIY. Welcome to my channel. Um, it's a typical cool Cape Cod weather day. It's supposed to rain at some point and I'm not doing too much at the moment. So I wanted to just sort of do a quick video and explain a little bit about this really cool big pillow that I would made. Um, you noticed it if you watched my video before, my bedroom tour. And um, it's been on my bed. Um, it's pretty big. Um, and as I explained, it's actually a rug that I picked up from Marshalls. It was, I believe it was priced at $16.99. And um, of course, after taxes, it was like just over 18 bucks. But I had seen some cool macrame pillows there before. And I believe the ones that I was looking at, they, those were priced at close to $30. Um, and then there was some other pillows that were like half the size you know a typical throw pillow and those were I believe either were priced at 25 somewhere even close to 30 themselves and I just wasn't sure I wanted to pay the price to get those well I came across um, a really cool rug had these tassels um, these two rows of tassels on both ends of the rug love the pattern like this is one end of the rug I'll sort of explain in a minute and then of course if I flip this around you know it continues that sort of pattern going through the middle of the rug um, anyway so I just I really love the rug but I wasn't sure if I really wanted to have it on my floor basically because you know I do love the pattern I love the tassels and everything but I, as I mentioned having it on the floor and you're walking on it the tassels are going to get messed up and that would probably bug me every day plus I have two dogs that would be walking on it chances are you know their little claws might end up catching in it somehow or something and I just didn't want to deal with that so anyway so what I did is I took the rug and I sort of flipped it face down onto a surface and what I did was I folded it in thirds basically you know I, I flipped one end over and I realized that once everything was in place the tassels on the other end were probably going to be a little bulky I could have probably left them on but I just decided to carefully remove those because I noticed that you could just take out the tassels it was no problem and so I flipped one third over and I don't know if you'll notice but like the first third, I took some um, white embroidery thread that I have and I just whip stitched it along the entire side that I had flipped over. And so anyway, so I did that on this end and then I did it on this end as well. Just the white embroidery thread, whip stitched it, no problem. And then I was trying to think, well, what am I going to stuff this with? Because I didn't have any extra fiber filling or anything like that. Um, if I had like a long pillow that could have fit, I might have used that. What I decided to do was just use some um, two uh, pillow inserts that I'd had before for making pillows and everything. You know, I had some that I wasn't using and I figured, well, if they could fit and I just shoved the two pillows that's why you might notice a little bit of a wave here it's because there's one pillow here and one pillow over here and um, so I shoved those in as best as I could and then I just flipped the other third of the rug over and I probably could have stitched that down as well if I wanted to but instead I just sort of used some of the thread and I tacked it down like right in here. Just sort of tacked it down. I did the same thing on the other side. Um, and I did that because just in case if I ever decided that I didn't want to have this as a pillow anymore and did want to use it as a rug, I could easily undo, undo the stitching, you know, hopefully with no problem and just unfold it and use it as a rug. I mean, obviously the rug wouldn't have tassels on the other end, but like I said, I could just remove these tassels and have it be with no tassels. I did save them, um, the ones that I removed on the other end of the rug. 
and I figured, well, maybe I'll either use them for another project or, or if I never do, I'll have the pieces of thread that were the tassels and maybe I could try and put them back in. I don't know, or, or maybe not. But um, anyway, so yeah, I'm just really loving this. Like I said, I just love the texture it's adding on my bed, you know, with the tassels and everything, the pattern. Um, it's just really going for the look that I'm trying to have in my room. And um, yeah, that's basically it. Oh, um, a little bit of an update I wanted to mention. Um, in my last video, I had mentioned where there's an area it's sort of in this direction. You can't see it right now on video um, where I have a cranberry basket hanging on the wall that I'm using as a necklace holder and how I had mentioned that I was thinking about maybe taking it down and putting a macrame wall hanging or something like that. Well, the other day I happened to be in TJ Maxx. I didn't end up buying anything. I was just walking around and I noticed they had these um, sort of boho tapestry wall hangings that were on clearance for $13 and I'm almost tempted of going back to buy one because there were actually two that I saw that were really cool. Um, one was more of a black and off white which I do have mostly gray tones in my room but it had a lot of a similar pattern like this and I thought that would be really cool and I think it even had tassels on the bottom. But yeah, I was almost thinking of getting that and hanging it on the wall. And there was another one that didn't have as much of a, with patterns and designs, um, a lot of texture to it. It was just sort of more of a plain off-white or creamy color. I couldn't tell by looking at it in the store. But at the bottom it had tassels, but it was more of a, um, a dip dyed into a gray look. It's sort of hard to explain. If I do get that one, I'll show it to you. But um, so I was almost thinking of getting that. Anyway, cut to the cut to the end of the story. Basically, I'm looking at these um, tapestries on clearance, and a lady walks up to me, and she's like, "Oh, how much are these?" And this and that, and we just sort of got to chit chatting. And I had told her how I had thought about maybe even doing a macrame wall hanging, making one myself. And she said, "You know." In town, because I was in a certain town that I was at, she said there's this place called The Weekend, and they are going to be doing a macrame class. Um, it's a $60 class, so I'm not really sure about the paying the price for it, but it sounds like it could be pretty fun. The only problem was it turned out that yesterday when I was there and she told me about it, turned out the class was yesterday, and actually it was around 5 o'clock when I had met this woman, and the class was like three to six, so there's obviously no way I was getting to it. Well, I ended up going on Facebook and sent, meant a little, did a little comment because they had done a post about the class and just sort of inquiring, you know, hey, do you think you're gonna do the class again? Because it turned out they had done one last month. And she said, well, I'm gonna ask the lady, I think her name was Nicole or something. She said, I'm gonna ask her and um, send me your email and I'll email you if it turns out there's gonna be another class. So that's a little bit of a update of all the things that have been going on. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna just wait and see if I get an email from the lady and if it turns out they have another class, I just might sign up for it. Yeah, you know, I think it'd be fun. Um, you know, I just, in my day-to-day -day life, I just sort of work, go home. That's pretty much it. Sometimes I'll make projects and whatever, but I don't really get to go out and do fun stuff a whole lot. I don't get to always associate with a lot of people. I'm mostly around elderly people during the day. So anyway, so yeah, I'm thinking about signing up for the class. I think it would be fun to just get out and meet other ladies that love doing DIY projects and have a little fun, do some macrame. So if that happens, I'll keep you all posted and let you know how it goes. All right, take you, um, thank you very much. Um, I hope you have a good rest of your Sunday day. Um, I'm gonna be going to work later on. Like I said, I'm dressed very casual. It's a very gray blah day here on Cape Cod. Um, just very anxious for the spring weather to come so I can be outside of my house, in the garden, and enjoying the fresh air. So take care, and if you like my videos, I hope you subscribe to my channel, 
and I will see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.